action. So the reason that I am talking today about goal setting for your musician business and why it might be stressing you out, which is actually the title of this episode, is because we're going to be doing again our challenge, get more done in less time and grow your musician business. And it, a lot of it is about goal setting, it's about planning, it's about making sure that you're spending your time doing the right things. And so I wanna get you thinking more about your goals and how you're approaching them. And before I get into that, I wanna invite you guys to join our challenge. The challenge is going to start on the 23rd of January. And if you're listening to this after that, go check the page femmusician.com slash challenge and see if we're running another version of the challenge. It was super popular when I ran it last time. So I think it's something we're gonna be doing at least twice a year. So go to F as in female E as an entrepreneur, musician.com slash challenge and sign up for that challenge. You'll get all your assignments in your email box. You'll get access to a Facebook group where everybody was just like helping each other and sharing and putting their goals and all that stuff. Last time we did the challenge, it's a great community. And that's where I do my Facebook lives every day during the challenge. So it is the 23rd of January. Go and sign up, femmusician.com slash challenge. And what we are gonna be talking about today relates completely to that, it is about how to make goals in your musician business that don't stress you out. So there should be a little bit of stress involved in goals. That's why we set them, right? We don't want to just be complacent and just, oh, okay, today, what should I do for my musician business? Oh, maybe I feel like doing this. Like we want to have something way out in front of us that is saying, okay, we wanna reach that and how are we gonna get there? It's like a beacon in the night. So that's why we need goals and they should put a little bit of stress on us, otherwise they are not good goals. But if you're setting your goals wrong or your goals aren't really guiding you to where you wanna go and it's not clear to you what you need to do to achieve those goals, then they will stress you out unduly. So let's talk about why you might be stressed out by the goals that you've created for your musician business. So one reason is, is that the goal that you chose is not a good goal or it's not a smart goal. So I did a whole nother episode about this. It's femmusician.com slash 058, where I talk about what smart goals are, um, what makes a goal specific, measurable, uh, achievable, relevant, and time bound. And it's actually kind of hard to come up with goals that are this, it are follow this exact formula when you first start out because you usually end up leaving out one of those important ingredients. So I, I really encourage you to go back to that episode, femmusician.com slash 058, and listen to that training on SMART goals. But, um, and as well, I'm gonna give you something from this episode that's gonna help you formulate your SMART goals and make sure that you're actually creating goals. Um, so the other thing that can be a problem with goals is what you actually created is projects, not goals. And there is definitely a distinction between those. So let me give you some examples and see if you think that these are goals or projects. So maybe creating a website, is that a goal or a project? Maybe writing five songs, is that a goal or a project? What about um, booking a house concert tour? Is that a goal or a project? Well, I've given you a little bit of a trick question here because actually those are all projects. And I'll tell you why. Because a goal needs to be such that it gives you a specific thing that you can measure in the end. So you may think to yourself, okay, did I book a house concert? Like that's measurable, but we want to attach a, an accountability to that. So when you book your house concert, what is that going to do for your business? Like, why are you doing this? Why is this a project that you want to tackle? Well, because I want to make $3,000 from that house concert tour that I booked, or why do I want to write five songs? Well, 
I want to write five songs because I want to release an album in three months. Or why do I want to create a website? Well, I want to create a website because I want to use it to build my email list um, and add 500 people in the next 90 days. So do you see what I'm doing here with that? Instead of it just being the project, I'm attaching it to some kind of accountability that tells me in the end, did I achieve my goal? Yes, I completed my project, but when I did build my website, was I then able to use that as a tool to build my email list by 500 people after 90 days? So that's where the goal does put a little stress on us in a good way because we want to make sure that it's actually giving us this thing that we're reaching for, this exact thing, um, versus the projects are all the stepping stones to get to your achievement or your uh, accountable goal. So there could be a whole bunch of different projects underneath a goal. So if your goal is, I want to increase my income by 25% in the next 90 days, then you would need to figure out what projects that would help you do that. Maybe one of them is building your website. Maybe one of them is setting up your email list and um, you know, putting, making that available on a whole bunch of different channels. You know, there's lots of projects you can do to increase your income. Maybe it is releasing a new album that's going to, to, you know, you're going to get it on iTunes. You're going to make sure that that makes sales for you in the next 90 days. Maybe it is your project is to get five new uh, students in your, you know, vocal studio or something that's going to increase your income by 25%. So see how those items underneath the goal are projects. And I like to think about it as the goal is this mountain that we're trying to ascend. And the projects are like the stepping stones or the steps to get to the top of the mountain. So I hope that's helpful in helping you understand what would be a goal and what would be a project. So again, a goal is, um, is attached to an accountability, whereas a project is what gives you confidence and momentum to reach your goal. So, you know, you maybe want to, um, like with the projects, you have control over those things, right? So you can actually control whether you complete your website or whether you set up your email list on three social media channels. You cannot control whether you actually add 500 people through that email list, right? But you can control whether you get the items done that relate to your projects. So that's where I want you to realize that you do have the control. You take your goal, you know, this thing that you really want to achieve, that you want to move your business forward, and then you want to figure out the projects underneath that. And then underneath those projects, what actions do you need to do every day to complete those projects? And it will make you feel like you are so in control of your music business because you know exactly what you need to do step by step. Each step, you're reaching a milestone, which may be the end of that project. And you pile those milestones on top of each other. And pretty soon you reach the height of that mountain, that goal that you created. So again, your goal is it has a why it is attaching a so that to your statement. So you could say, I want to build a website so that I can increase my email list by 500 people, or I want to write five songs so that I can release an album in three months. So think about it that way. And the goals are the overarching, like, you know, the, the cover or the overarching of all your projects and the projects are housed underneath the goal. So I hope that's been really helpful in helping you understand maybe why either the goals that you chose didn't really give you a way to measure them or the goals that you chose are actually projects. And when you get done, you're like, okay, I finished that thing, but what did I get out of it? I have a new website, but how is that actually moving my business forward? Or, you know, I booked a house concert, but what am or house concert tour, but what am I trying to do with that? Why am I booking that house concert tour? I booked a house concert tour so that 
I could make $3,000. And then you have to make sure that under that, you know exactly how each house concert is going to make you money. So I hope that was helpful. And these are the kind of trainings that I love doing because they're very entrepreneurial oriented and they're not things that musicians usually talk about, but I think they're things that will be really helpful to you as a musician because again, you are a business owner and you need to think about these things um, you know, in a tactical way, in a way where you can actually plan and not just stay busy with all these projects, but knowing exactly where these projects are taking you so you can make momentum and move through the different stages of your music career and actually ascend. So I want to thank you guys for hanging with me today and putting up with um, a little bit of funkiness with this testing. I promise you that when um, I feel really comfortable with this OBS system that's allowing me to you know, train you right on Facebook Live with using my computer, I will definitely do an episode or a video or a combination of those to teach you guys how to use it because I think it'll be very valuable for you to be able to go on your page and talk directly to your fans and show them pictures and videos and play them audio and all kinds of cool stuff that you can do with your computer. So 